Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are great, fine, fantabulous, and wonderful. I am going to be doing a review on the Creme of Nature Argan Oils new gel brand. They've got two new products which I saw and I was like, no. I need to try these. One of them is the Chrome of Nature's Perfect Black Edges in the colour black. And the other one is the Chrome of Nature Argan Oil for Natural Hair Flexible Styling Snot. The Chrome of Nature Argan Oil Flexible Styling Snot is for natural hair. And um, basically, I thought, let me try something different because I don't really like this, the Gorilla Snot. Um, I feel like the Gorilla Snot is like really, really gooey and... There's just something about it that I didn't like. I thought it was too liquidy as well. Um, and then when I checked the consistency of this one, it's a lot more stiff. And the fact that it says for natural hair, anything for natural hair, I'll purchase. So this was £4.99. And then the Chrome of Nature Perfect Edges Black. Um, this is like my old one. As you can see, I think that kind of speaks for itself in terms of how much I actually use this. Like, I love it. First impressions. Um, one thing I noticed with Crema Nature, all of their products smell exactly like alike. They're quite consistent. Like not one will smell a bit different to the other. They pretty much smell exactly the same. Like there's no difference. It smells just like, yeah, they smell alike. So um, in terms of the snot, I just thought that the snot would be a gel. And I thought, okay, cool. Like this is the hairstyle that I'll do for like work or over the weekend. So I was like, okay, let me get something just for that. And you guys may have seen on Snapchat when I did like my first impressions kind of review and I was ranting and raving and I was like, oh my gosh, like these are my two new Holy Girl products. These are my two go-to things. But I kind of have a few concerns. Um, the Flexible Silence Knot it basically says moisture and exotic shine for thick curly hair. Well, I didn't actually see that until basically when I was filming this video. Um, I just saw for natural hair, so I got it anyway. Um, it says smooth hair, conditions, edges, tames, frizz, provides exotic shine. No sulfates, silicone, mineral oil, or petroleum, alcohol free and flake free. So I was like, hmm, okay. So it was like, oh, you know, smooths hair, controls edges, holds the twist outs and updos, tames frizzes, you know, flake, fr flake free hold. And I can't take a flake. So I was like, okay, cool. Um, and it was like, basically apply to dry or wet hair, work desired amount through hairstyle. You know, like the usual stuff, you know, apply to edges and smooth with fingertips, small toothbrush or brush for desired look or hold. So I thought, okay, cool. Um, you know, it adds shine, it moisturizes, and it's four pound, like, five pounds. So I was like, okay, where could I go wrong? So I put this in my hair now, and like, this is the first thing that I do. When I slip up my hair, I put this on first, because obviously you can't put edge control and then gel. So I tried it, and it doesn't give you that stiff feeling either, which is quite good. I don't know if you guys have tried um, NYX gel. NYX gel is more like a freeze gel, and literally when you put it on your head, it is absolutely freezing cold, because it's literally freezing your hair. Um, this one doesn't do that. My only reserves with this is that obviously when I was taking up my hair, you can see where like all the gel is. It clumps up and it literally like, it, it rains dirt. I wouldn't even say it's dirt, it's the, it's the, it's the, um, the dry gel. Um, would I rush to get this again? Um, I probably, I would buy it again, but I wouldn't use like a lot. Um, the amount that I use with this already, I feel like it's a lot anyway. Um, but this hairstyle, bearing in mind, when I do this hairstyle, I only keep it in for about a week, two weeks tops. And I will literally do it on, say, like, the Sunday, rock this hairstyle for work for the week and take it out on the weekend. I normally like to, like, do my facials and my kind of... What's that? That kind of take care of yourself moments on Fridays. So on Fridays, I'll take out my hair, wash it, and then put it in whatever style it needs to go next. Or if I'm gonna do it again, I'll do it again. Um, but I definitely wouldn't do a top up because I feel like I put more than enough in my hair for this anyway. Um, I've actually tried it by itself, and to be honest, it doesn't control any edges whatsoever. Like it works better with an edge control. Don't. Well, that's I, I'm only speaking from my hair type and my experience. I would never use this by itself because it just wouldn't do anything. Like my edges would just roll back. So there'd be no point in me just trying to use this by itself. So that is probably not for 4C. I'm, to be honest, I don't know about 4B and 4A. So, but for 4C hair, this will not control your hair by itself. Um, when it says it tames frizz, it doesn't do that either. Because obviously, as you can see, I've, got, I've still got some frizz. Um, but the only reason why I don't mind that is because my hair is obviously 4C hair. I don't want to like make it dead straight otherwise I would perm my hair so I don't mind having a little bit of the ruffle and as you can see I've added a um, 
a what do you call it a kinky track just one track to the back to make like a bun um and because that's frizzy i feel like the frizz from here would obviously reflect and match with the frizz at the back so it blends better so i don't mind that but if obviously i was having like a, sh a straight ponytail there's no way that it would tame my frizz enough to match the ponytail provides exotic shine i definitely say using this it does make my hair curly like you can actually see the curls from when i brush my hair and i slick it um yeah a little bit of curl there so i guess if i was to try a wash and go i could probably try a wash and go with this the only thing i'd be quite cautious about with doing a wash and go with this is that because it flakes although it says it doesn't that means that your hair would have a lot of residue about the flake free hold um as you can see i've got some things going on here and i i personally feel like the only reason why that's happened is because it's mixed with the black edge control i've used the black edge control by itself and it doesn't do that so i feel like it 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 does that plus when i did actually use this with the um the clear edge control extra hold for natural hair by crumb of nature no by Cantu, it did the same thing but it just dried in about like it wasn't white but it was yellowy so would i use it again i would i would definitely use it but in terms i don't know what natural hair is talking about are you talking about 4a or 4b because it definitely ain't 4c so i definitely feel like they can there's improvement to be done on this is the uh chrome of nature perfect edges in black now as you can see this is my current state of affairs with this there is hardly nothing in there like this i will buy this in a heartbeat i will feel no way about it i think i bought three no i bought two but as soon as that one gets to the half part half point mark halfway point I'm gonna buy another one like honestly this was four pounds fifty and um i have to say obviously it's in the package where it's like packaged up so i was thinking oh like you know what is it gonna be like i didn't open it even though you could easily open it i didn't open it i was like when i get home i'll see but because it is a black it's like that i thought okay maybe it's gonna be like an eco gel substance although the whole reason why i got this whole gel is because eco gel does nothing for me like i don't know why you guys like to lie and say oh yeah eco gel is the truth it's really not the truth for me it does nothing at all like it runs through my hair like water does nothing i bought what, two big tubs and i've tried every single color and i had to give every single one of them away does nothing for me so when i tried this i thought okay maybe this might be a bit different because i've used their edge control products before so i opened it up now smelt it i was like okay cool smells like the usual stuff looked at it sorry i've kind of dipped into it already looked at it and i was like hmm and then literally I did this and I was like oh my gosh it's got the consistency of an edge control and it's black at the same time so I was thinking okay is it just black because it's black but then when I put it on my hair it's not gonna be black put it on my hair literally my hair was black my hair was black like it was turning my hair black then I don't know why I don't read stuff but I only read the package the packet now and it basically says perfect for covering grey roots and minimising the appearance of thinning edges while creating sleek smooth styles so i was like wow so this is basically like for um people who have no edges basically um but for me the reason why i love this so much is because my ponytail is black but my hair is the color too so sometimes i need it to match and jet black hair is just so nice like oh my gosh jet black hair is pfft, boy it makes a difference it really makes a difference from 1b um but this also says that it's got superior hold without hardening now i've used this by itself and me personally it has worked it doesn't last as long which is why i say that you would need to use this and that together without it i kind of feel like it lasts longer than an edge control if i had to use it by itself Cantu's natural hair extra hold one definitely wins like if you can find something that's going to be better than that oh my days like you take my money take my money this if they make this an extra hold version i would be like the first person to buy it like if they make this an extra hold version i'll be the first person to buy it because it's so good already by itself it's good paired up with that and i feel like if they make an extra hold version then i don't need to use it with the snot gel um but i can't fault this like i actually can't fault it it doesn't um the only the only thing that i don't like about it is that when you use it it kind of leaves your hands black as you can see um 
and that's not because I've used it with the silence not gel. I've noticed that it does that by itself. Um, so I don't know what they've put in there. I don't know if they put hair dye in there or whatnot, but yeah. For work, I've cut down my makeup routine. So all I basically do is just my, um, my lips are so dry. All I do is just do my eyebrows and mascara and I'll do this hairstyle. And I'll do this, I'll tie up my hair first and then I will um, do like my eyebrows, my eyelashes, like my mascara, put on my clothes. And by the time I take off my hair scarf, my hair is dry already. So pretty much. So just to recap, um, Silence Not Gel, which is £4.99. Um, would I buy again? Yes. Does it say what it does? Um, does it do what it says, sorry? Mm, mm, not really. Um, but I can manage it. I can manage it. There's definitely room for improvement in this product. Like they can definitely like improve this. Um, and then the Cream of Nature Argon Oil for £4.49. Would I buy this again? Hell to the damn yes. Um, does it do what it says it will do? Yeah. If you have grey hair, this will work. I did my cousin's hair. She has a few grey strands and I used this instead of like black mousse. And this did the job. So I would definitely recommend this. Like this is going to be my, another holy, my next holy grail. If they can make this in the extra whole product, take my money. I will literally love you forever and ever. Anyway guys, I hope that was helpful for you. Um, if there are any other products that you need me to review, please don't hesitate to let me know. Um, and I will try my best to get my hands on it and do the review. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to comment. And also, if you've used this product yourself, what did you think? What did, like, would you buy it again? What were the pros and cons for you? Be sure to comment down and let me know. Don't forget to also hit that subscribe button as well. If anything, I will see you in the next video. Peace.